Good morning, everyone. Here is today's sunshine from Matthew chapter 20, verses 20 through 28. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Say that these two sons of mine are to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your kingdom. Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave, even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Pastor Nelson will now share how Jesus helps. My oldest daughter, Maria, was about eight years old when I was teaching her about the first being the last. Jesus, of course, says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And so we taught her that lesson. And a few days later, I was very proud when the time came for ice cream to be served. Maria said, well, I'll be last which is very different than what she would normally say. So I was very pleased that, that uh, she said that. And so then we served the ice cream, and Maria was the last one to get her ice cream. And there she was with a pouty face. So Maria, what, what's going on? Why are you pouty? She said, well, you had said the first would be last, and the last would be first. I said, yeah. And, and I, that's what we said. And she said, well, I said I wanted to be last so that it could be first. <laughs> well, I appreciate Maria's honesty here. It's hard not to want to be first, no matter what it's for, whether it's the, the first one in the car to be in the, uh, uh, in the shotgun position, whether it's the, the first one in, in the class, uh, the first one in the, in the, in the work environment. We, we all want to be first. It's hard to get rid of that. But Jesus can help us get rid of that because he was the one who was first and who became last. He was the one who was in charge, who became the servant of all. He went to the cross bearing our sins so that we could be forgiven for the many times we pushed others out of the way so that we could be first. And through him, we're forgiven. And through him, we have a pattern now of seeking not to be first, because we're already first in God's eyes. That's what counts. But now to serve other people and to, to let other people be first in a variety of, of ways as, as we serve them, as we care for them. And so as you go through the day, there'll be times for you to, uh, to have opportunities to be first, and you could push your way in to, to be first. On the other hand, There'll be opportunities for you to serve others and let them be first. May we remember our Lord Jesus who served us, even unto death, so that we'd be first in God's eyes. And may we serve others. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Let us pray. Dearest Jesus, thank you for serving us and giving your life as a ransom so that we would be forgiven. Help us, O oh Lord, in the course of today and the days ahead to seek not to be number one, because we are number one in your eyes, but instead seek to, to serve others first and foremost. And we ask that you would enable us to do this in your holy name. Amen. Now may God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit keep you in his sunshine this day. Amen.